it's just down, it's just like kill emotional fertility test, when they search LFPP, APC, oh, she wish it. <laughs> you know, you sign as if you're signing your death one. We might develop this if I affect this. I say, God, I beg. The doctor was like, No, I should just go for I said, Like, miracle happens. Guys, I don't know like how many times I've tried to record this video. Probably this is like the third time of all. Yeah, hopefully this one will work. It's just like a chit chat sharing my journey. I'll try to make this video not emotional as much as possible because I mean thank God for testimony. I mean it's an emotional journey, don't get me wrong, but oh, glory to God. Anyway, let's jump right into it. So it's basically about my fertility story, and I think I've talked about why I'm sharing this story. First of all, I have a covenant with God that whenever this testimony comes up, whenever like I have this testimony, I'm going to share it to as many people, as many persons as possible. Like, I was like I won't keep quiet. At this the platform that I know that I can also like reach out to people and just let you know that God is real. In fact, this thing called life is bigger than all of us. And whatever achievements you've accomplished is bigger than you. It's for you to share it with the world, to inspire someone else. I always say if you have a story to tell, tell it because someone out there needs to hear it. Got married in 2020, like three years plus now. Of course, normal, normal, like most couple. Well, I don't know if it's most statistics, but personally, my husband's like, let's just still wait a bit, get to know each other, let's wait like a year at most. I was like, I don't have a problem with that. Anything goes for me. But one thing is certain, I'm not doing anything. I, I'll just wait. In the process of waiting, whether it's one month, two months, how many months, if it happens, it happens. That was my vibe. But what like started the whole thing? Okay, let me backtrack to years before I even get married. I used to have weird pain. No, I'm in severe pain. Why? I am in the I am in severe pain. It's that kind of pain, exactly. Growing up, you know, everybody would be like, oh, that maybe you're yeah, eating sugary things, or it's just normal. It wasn't normal. For women, I don't know. I feel that this thing is not well, like, talked about. But then I feel like it's most times, maybe when we get married, especially people that, like, maybe wait till marriage before having sex. I think that's when you now start realizing something, which is not supposed to be. But then again, sometimes it that's just what it is. Case in point, all of those pain, painful period, that was the only symptoms I was having then because I wasn't sexually active, right? That was the only symptoms I had. Painful period, even pre PMS, pre menstrual is awful. During the menstrual, after the menstrual pain, ovulation pain. So, so sometimes, if I say, I think I've said in the past that I would like to come as a man. That's the reason why I talk about that. I know it's not all women that feel pain. Some people have it easy, but it is what it is. Basically, oh, something yes, life is just pain, pain. If you are having severe period pains like this, also one that will say that we hear oh period pain is normal. Is this thing? Just go and check. Sis, just check. I remember I used to complain so much then to so anybody that cares to listen that in a month it's just one week that i feel okay like that okay like physically with my body because you use one week to do the measure go, 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 to go. <laughs> pre mestra one week post mestra one week that post mestra self if it be maybe ovulation or something so even the fourth week self it's not like the whole of the fourth week do you understand and then i used to think maybe it was just me but when I come online, I'm seeing people voicing out, especially, you know, non-Africans. But I follow some pages on Instagram, BU period, and people's comments, like, you can relate with it. But I just saw that comment of somebody saying, oh, in a month, it's just one week that she feels good. Well, that one week self is this thing. So I was not like, so I, I wasn't even the only one. It was when I got married that I was not seeing so much more. I was not like, this is not normal. First of all, painful sex. Ha, huh. hey. Let me not even enter that part. Oh, so crazy girl. I'm so thankful for my husband. He's very supportive. Thank God for reasonable partners. At the beginning, I felt oh, maybe because I am a virgin. But yeah, that's why it's difficult like this. Then I wrote, it was crazy because my major thought was, why me? I said I exhausted a pack of PT and we let this bought one pack of pregnancy test. So I'm always using that search and it's always negative, negative. I was admitted at some point. I was always having period pain as usual. Then I was not having like um, this side pain, like ovulation pain, but it was when they checked, did the test and checked, it was because of the cyst. So they were like, I need to like operate it. If you are not up to one year in marriage, most guys need will be like just keep trying because getting pregnant is not an overnight thing. Think six months to one year is the time they can really take you serious. That okay, after that time of trying, you can come if there's nothing. It was getting intense, so I think we had to visit the visit a guy. We went to the guy and then got so I got diagnosed. We did like fertility tests. Oh, she wish the um is the female that has like more tests to do. LSH, LPP, APP, APC, everything. 
don't take my word for it though i'm just joking like they are just different tests like more like five or six or more lsh it's just plenty like that a lot of it came back good but of course they will ask you questions should that painful period and painful came up as the symptom i did like i think two or three places to just confirm it so they were like okay i have endometriosis in a layman is like when you are bleeding during your period normally you know you're supposed to just be bleeding down there right as a woman but you are bleeding in that aspect it's just messed up somehow the lining of the uterus maybe all those medical jargon can be because some it can be in the uterus or in the fallopian tube because i never knew that there is somebody even bleeding in another place i've had a doctor told me i should be thanking god i'm not bleeding in the brain or the nose i said which one is bleeding or nose again so that was where i got to know that ah, it could be worse or i don't even know it but yeah, it's easy worse i'll call it because this one is what anyways okay yeah we'll add day so what is the way forward the endometriosis does not have like nobody can explain why it is there was no nobody could say this is the reason this is the cause when you asked of the cause they only explained the effect so they were like okay that um, that's affected my pian tube <sighs> without fellow pian tube but they didn't think that anybody can pro reproduce abby they explained it to me that it's like or you like cobweb structure normal cobweb we know you can just use anything to remove it but this one is not something that you can just remove you know organ internal organ <laughs> my brothers and sister that's not like so what is the way forward even though i mean <laughs> i was just down i was just like killing it but it will soon endometriosis kilo kids but for every problem you need to find solution so they were not like okay that i need to do a particular test hsg <laughs> huh. it's in my head my memory that test oh wow excruciating i don't know which one is it's more excruciating than labor pain i've not experienced labor pain now the anticipating but that test is let me not scare you people in case i am i have somebody who don't want to go and do the test watching you still have to do it none so the thing about the test is it detects and can also correct so if the blockage is partial the hsg test will go through it it's like a dye they will start dial inside the press that dye well, you know the way you collect injection but they will not put it inside your down below you know down below if you don't know down below ask your friend <laughs> that's why taking pain reliever when they finish the um, test i was still rolling on the floor <sighs> even the people that came to do it they were like ah, what's happening are you still feeling pain uh -uh. I'm crying like this. We are looking on the floor. You ask some question. <laughs> I was just like, I was just nodding like. So they had to like take me back to the ward and give me injection. With the so apparently that thing didn't do anything for me. That's why I guess that's why it was very painful because mine was like blockage of both tubes the result that came out according to the doctor i can't conceive naturally that the chances of conceiving naturally is very slim is that i, I need to go through ivf it, like that's the only um, option it's not even iu high i tell me explain the way high ui and high vf works i was now like which what kind of problem i don't know if you get that kind of thing like hmm. this journey is long it's like surgery never done surgery before in my life that word surgery self it don't scare me yeah. oh do you know i don't really notice come close <laughs> i was making a video actually honestly yeah my video me by so they're like oh that would need surgery for the cyst i started studying because when i had surgery i'm just like god i beg i knew that okay the surgery was to maybe take out the cyst right to get it out <sighs> i'm still like scared of the operation i'm like god break what is the what what so i started thinking and looking out for things i can do naturally before going medically did you get of course i was praying I was studying the gynae that would maybe if i had maybe gone to a gynae before now maybe all of this the gynae was like the doctor was like there's a certain point that it needs to get to before they can operate out the cyst so if the cyst is not big enough there's nothing they can do to it you will just need to be managing the symptoms or be taking contraceptive i was like when i will still want to give birth why would i be taking contraceptive i've even had some doctor tell me then the only thing is get pregnant and in my head i'm like i don't understand make it make sense i'm having something that is deterring me from getting pregnant and you're telling me the only solution is to get pregnant as i said are you hearing yourself anyway so i started looking for things online like alternative what to shall do to get get rid of this cyst and also unblock my fallopian too because medically you can't there's nothing you want to do that can unblock fallopian tube or something like that i was trying to introduce to one particular drug i, I will not mention their name but it's up on you i don't know where i should mention them where they are unique i wouldn't have gone near them but because it was true somebody that i know like, as i bought that drug over i think like 200 or 250k i use this drug religiously because naturally i don't like drugs i prefer injection i use this drug religiously so i use this oh if i will film okay 
Is it justice? They say it's going to share. It should share solve the issue of fertility share. I think they said it will dry up the cyst a bit. You unblock that so you didn't have many kidney for you get pregnant. Of course, you will see reviews. They are they even have huge following on Instagram. And then I saw people's review. I'm like, okay, let me try. But on YouTube, I don't see anything like that. And you know, people don't really come out and say these things, right? You know, Africans are the shish mentality. But this is the only review I saw on YouTube. That lady was she's a white lady, so I don't know. She wasn't really clear in her whether it worked or not. Or maybe you know some of these things are also coincidental. Or let me also say that the fact that it doesn't work for me doesn't mean that it might not work for somebody else. Shasha, I exhausted the drugs, it didn't work. I was already thinking. And then said I needed to do the surgery on time because that cyst can burst if it burst because already they said it was already at stage four or something like that so the cyst was already getting big i was just like skeptical of surgery because i know they i read of it too i've read of side effects and everything so i took another drug that one is like more natural Ajun Basse. I don't know if it's Igbo or Nambra. It's round like this, like Oshuka. Oshuka is what you call this in Yoruba, like it, it, what it looks like. <laughs> Something like that. It's like a bow boy. It's round, round, round. They usually use it for postpartum, like people that just give birth. That's a boy that um, abs and be drinking it hot. Ajun Basse. I don't know if I'm pronouncing it right. That and with other drugs. Now, other drugs. <laughs> I could not take it. I could not really swallow it because I will try and put the picture if I still have it here. Like if you open it, the thing that is inside like grassy it looks like Igbo. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry for the laugh. I was like, I don't even know this thing that I'm taking. I took it for a while, but this time I tried taking it, I'm like almost vomiting the thing that I bought it from. Somebody from my workplace introduced me to that thing. I did not finish it. I was just like, oh, I think I've had enough. Then I tried checking on YouTube for natural ways like using turmeric, garlic, ginger. I tried doing that thing. Combination worked for period pain. Because I noticed when I was taking that thing, my period pain, I wasn't having it. But it didn't work for the... the then there was one lady that I met. I just met her randomly. Though. I don't even know her. I can't even remember what she looked like. The way the talk was going was like all this fetish something. I said, Uze. Uze, where, 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 how? I know. <laughs> it's only one, one god. That's the only person that I know. He was trying to mix it with herb. There's one woman in one place. She, there's self I'm just like, oh, okay, ha, thank you. I'm just like, if God will not do this for who else will not do it? That's my own. This. I just moved on. So those are the things that I did aside medical that I tried to like do on my own. So, but when none of it was working, I'm just like, what's the point of wasting money? Let's just do this surgery, happy. Hey, <laughs> yeah, I wrote here that didn't use Sarah, Sarah Passe. I don't know how to pronounce, even though I had heard about it. So, there's this joke that I was seeing people talk about online, like even foreign people, Sarah Passe or something. I'll put it so people are saying that it's also unblock this thing, but I saw some negative reviews about it too and at that point i had used a couple of drugs so i'm just like i beg i beg i beg i'm not interested so i had to go in for the surgery there were two types laparotomy and laparoscopy i had researched all of these things to when they tell me one thing i, I usually I also advise when it comes to like maybe you, you having men, medical whatever anything that deals with your body see as the doctor is telling you or even before the doctor tells you like i used to say like you are the first doctor of yourself i don't know if that makes sense my point is don't be ignorant of whatever is happening in your body because even the doctor you are going to meet will ask you for symptoms before they can see something to work with so my point is don't just relent and say oh you leave it for one guy between laparoscopy and laparotomy which one would work for me and based on what the doctor said even there was one that when she when he was asking me oh um, saying all those terminologies, I was like flowing. It was not like, am I a medical practitioner? Like, I don't know. It's a that like my calling. You know? <laughs> so, like for every gynae appointment, you see me, I have my book. I'm asking them questions. I'm trying to understand what they're saying about my body and all. I did the surgery 2022 July, I think, or June. They removed the cyst, right? So I did laparotomy surgery because the cyst was already big. Laparoscopy is to check, as the word implies, copy. They'll just do like a microscopish thing in the side of your tummy. Like appendicitis so, um, surgery, but laparotomy is like opening you up, like CS. Point is, by the time we finish explaining and everything I research, I just felt like okay, laparotomy was the best option. The only thing was prayer because everything, whether medical, I was just praying that God, please let the surgery go away. Because you're having a day, they give you a panadol, a be paracetamol, everything is on God for paracetamol to work. Is, is God, and when we are signing the you know, you sign whenever you want to do surgery, you sign something as if you are signing your death warrant. <laughs> 
Merci for my husband. They say they wish all disease. We might develop this. If I affect this, I say God that beg. From series of tests that HSG to the surgery, this was my first time ever in theater. Giving a long anesthesia at the middle of your back. You have to hold the pillow and be steady and don't shake your body. My sister was taken out during the surgery. I remember myself and the hospital. Thankfully, the surgery went well. The surgery was successful. Thank God. One week surgery and another for recovery. I resumed work the other week. My point is to say the recovery process was not so bad. Today was painful. Uh, you know because i don't like drugs after recovering it got to a point like i stopped taking the medications they gave me nobody taught me eh the pain hey um, after the surgery they were explaining to us after thing was already affecting maybe the right ovary uh, the this thing that maybe they saw it they saw something somewhere else you know when they are doing surgery they'll be seeing your manner of things they were like okay maybe after the surgery you are supposed to be able to conceive but it's still sleep the endometriosis has already made that effect so i'm still going to resolve to ivf except like miracle happens I was feeling very bloated and I was told to be eating. You don't know if that is normal because even people say when you do CS surgery, it's light food that you'll be eating, maybe a uh, pack or something. For me, the hospital were just giving me like normal food, like rice. I don't know, maybe so that I can take my drugs or something. And I think because of the surgery would have tampered with your digestive system, so your digestive system will be slow. They will bring breakfast, lunch, and dinner. On a normal day, if I don't eat three times a day. <laughs> Because I don't really eat that much, digestive system is already slowing down. It's difficult for the food to digest sometimes, but at the same time, they said that I needed to poo so that they can be sure that everything was fine. <laughs> when I got to poo, I was looking for poo because, like, if I don't poo, it means that maybe something is wrong. I have to take courage. So, even though before we went for the IVF, I was still ah this contraction mm. so we went to like five different hospitals <laughs> just to be sure like in my head i was thinking maybe there's something that just can be done i don't that aside the ivf but in summary we had to do so finding the right hospital for the surgery and ivf was a lot because i was not comfortable with um the reviews i was getting from some of the big hospitals plus some hospitals that i went to the way the guy was i was just like and me when it comes to my body already i'm having fear already the process the thing i want to do is a long thing so i don't want you don't add negative extra negativity with attitude stop of something that is already going to be emotionally traumatic for. don't come and add negative energy i don't want it so if i get negative vibe from any guy in I'm off whether female or male. So I remember one female, the way she was doing, I'm just like, Kill I didn't go back there. They were even like, I should wait and collect you. Straight out of her office like this, I was just gone. I told you I had the job, but she was asking me, eh, how did I do? Telling me I would need to do two surgeries. See, I have a place where they would just do one. And I understand what she means by the two surgeries. One to detect, one to correct. Meanwhile, I can have one that would do this. See, let me not go into the details. But the point is, I had to look well for gyne somebody that i know that i'm comfortable with the ivf so we just started the ivf process i think that's like maybe three months or four after the surgery because i needed to hear right ivf process because it also works with your ovulation your cycle generally so you start calculating calendar and ah uh, that period was just not because you should first do inquiry slash education we talk about this you know we, oh yeah ivf ivf you just think oh ivf ivf there are different something inside it's also i was going to work i needed to be asking for permission ah, start the inquiry you do testing and fertility profiling that's what it's called i have i have this thing here because as as they are telling us they I usually document it so for the testing fertility profiling do what they will do here do blood samples blood pressure scan vital cvs that's transvaginal scan then they do all of those they do plenty plenty things then you come back on day of your period to do the other hormonal test plus sfl your partner will also do then you do a um, embryo retriever procedure so this one you'll be giving anesthesia for the retriever that's they collect your egg right they collect your egg collect your husband's fam put it together you all know how ivf works so you can google it i don't even know what was happening it was as if i was under like i was out of this one it was like an out of body experience for me don't know what happened to shark but that was it so for the transfer for the embryo transfer be there's no anesthesia just like a mild discomfort for me this embryo transfer was painful after the um, first ivf after all the spending of money and sweat 
energy taking permission from work going back and forth there's no week every week at least two times they are visiting the hospital because they need they need you that's like ivf you're always going there for one check one this one or that. i'm just so thankful for my husband so for the money i think it's almost a 3 m after everything the injection or the drug ah let's not even start remembering now like you have to be you have to take drugs at a particular time i had an alarm set for 10 30 pm i can't forget it's just like recently like few months ago i had to stop the alarm I give you doctor vibes. Every 10 30 pm, my husband was the one that was injecting my tummy. I think I have a video like I see I have a video, I'll put it up because my doctor, so because I couldn't do it myself because I can't like tummy, the side of the tummy, and then the thigh, and some at the bottom. The two, Greg, she will just be collecting injection anyhow at that period. So I put it there because of Lagos traffic. Like when I'm coming from work, I've never gotten up 10 30 before, but I was just like max no matter what, what was what, what, at least I would have gotten up. Long story short, after a long two weeks wait. The first cycle failed, like so that that all the money I've got like that. I have gone. Ah, <sighs> let's imagine the whole process was draining emotionally and all sorts. So the first one failed. Yeah, okay. So we are like, okay, that we need to go for the second one. That boy should like allow my body to heal for a while. Then aside the healing itself, it works with your circle, like I said earlier. So at that time, I think I was already low on egg bizarre, according to what they said. During the surgery, the endometriosis affected like one of my ovaries, so they had to take out some. I was really sad by many million times. I was hungry at God, like we both really had some episodes. I wrote here that the beginning of January 23 was my year of liberation. That was like one of the first times in a long time that I had no painful sand. It is no painful period. I don't know yet that, but hopefully I am victorious already. That's what I wrote here. I carry my babies by God's grace. Amen. After a series of injection, drugs, and overall God's grace and mercy, I made it. <laughs> this is like a, a confession though. Because I've not made it yet. A second IVF, IVF with donor. Had 19 fertilized eggs. Just one was mine. You know, after all those process, they will test you. Two weeks wait before you go and do the PT. You have a panic. You got affected. What happened? After the second IVF, Sha, we got pregnant. Came out. They brought the test. This result it was two lines positive. I was like, with my husband, we're happy. Yeah. The crisis. <laughs> Until my tummy start getting big, I'm like, I'm, I'm, I'm happy. I don't know. I'm happy, bro. Like, I, I, I want to believe it's real. It's real, right? So I'm supposed to come back on Wednesday to, to come and do another one. After this one, I'll buy pregnancy strip. Maybe on, maybe this Saturday. After that, I will go to and do another pregnancy test. Today, then I'll be fine. Everybody was happy my period <laughs> I, I think i still have the reaction for that first one i'll just put this. so they said i should continue all my drugs normally february 1st 2023 second test abby what did they call this test confirmation test two red lines I wrote epic reaction for everyone and then dot 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 calamity struck <laughs> make calamity not struck we will still be going for like checkup around the like one month plus ish like the sixth week or seventh they were already like telling me that oh they can't feel the heart bit of the baby but i should still hold on that it happens like that sometimes like we should give it like a week more uh, maybe i had a slow growth so that morning the day they said we should come for like the final verdict is going to be a miscarriage or not or that's also so dates that we're supposed to go back i had a dream i'm not going to see details it's all sorted i got the revelation and stuff so that dream i already knew that oh the doctor shall go to the summary 
they said um, they still did not feel the heartbeat so looking like it's going to miscarriage i was giving one two drugs like that it was so picked up so they were like i should go home that it should happen naturally that's the miscarriage but otherwise fully it doesn't lead to d and c you know the family of that but it means that if the this thing did not happen naturally the miscarriage that means i'll need to be taken to the theater again my head and also i was not praying that god i beg i don't even know what to pray the weekend of that week it was on a saturday election day i just felt like blood lot just came rushing out very painful yeah that was how the miscarriage went we were given a, another day to come back to do scan to confirm that everything has gone so no more the miscarriage has happened naturally i had a miscarriage at seven to eight weeks i remember after the incident, i was like okay so when should we come and start the third round of everything I'm sure it wasn't me that was talking to some extent, but you know when you are just like, let me just get this done. I don't even know what I was thinking. The doctor was like, no, you must not. Like, no. He was like, I should go and rest. I just had the miscarriage at the time that I should go and, I, that my body needs to heal and rest. I need to heal. I should just go first. But she didn't even give me time, bro. And she said something. <laughs> go that we can't say that god can also do something in my head i'm just like i know that she's just using that one to tell me so i'll just go first nobody likes sad news but shada was it so after that time i continued living my life i remember going for a colleague's naming ceremony during that period it did normal like all is well i mean because all is well right i wrote here that i'm just a happy go person sha that i move on quickly to some often times so i'm always happy for people even if i want that thing but i mean they said that before it's your turn be clapping for other people happy is that what i said so yeah i just moved on i mean something the thing has been done has been done what can you do after that period i've gone through the face of angry with god get to him and stuff then i questioned him and stuff somehow somehow he gave me peace and then we reconciled let me put it that way <laughs> me and god reconciled Prior to that day that I had the dream, we went to a particular pastor. Other stories that approved your faithfulness. See, I'm just thankful through this wilderness time. God was true. Like putting people that I don't know how to explain, but people putting people that you can relate with during that journey. You get there was a time I was looking, I was like, is this not the only communion? I said, eh, when I did not say anything. I, I do pray, I do pray. I've done everything I can do. Miss Kai is still happening. What can I do? Nothing. I'm drinking the only communion like water. <laughs> that was what I said. Until I finish it. You know, I was not drinking it in faith though. It was not a faith thing at that moment anymore for me. To be honest with you, I was just drinking it like. So I got to a point where I now sat God down. You know when you are just like you are discussing with somebody. That was I was, I was like. I was just like, God, as, at this point, I've gotten to the end of myself. I've done everything I can do. I've done everything possible that I think is in my power. Myself and my husband, we've done our best. Going forward, faster more, eh? It starts like, in my head, I'm like, Koto Ogunto Kereju, Yonilo. Faster more, I'm not using. So I was done. God should do what only you can do at this point. I was just like, God, at this point, I'm at the end of myself. I'm done, done, dusted. Do what only you can do, period, poor. <laughs> I was whole. So I just continue my normal life. The miracles I've seen Too good to not Okay, somehow, somehow, eh? Of course, it's not like I was happy about the loss, right? But I don't know how to put what I want to say You know, if the miscarriage didn't happen I don't know whatever happened with that miscarriage Because there was something um, prophetic Or I don't know the what to use about that old John But then it was as if God was like mm, Taking this off, this is not in my head. I don't know how to explain, but I'm just so thankful for all the process I went through. <laughs> Let me put it as God just wanted to have the glory 100%, like 100 and more percent. That this one, don't worry, I got you. I got you. This one is of the Lord, it's all about me, right? Because if the miscarriage did not happen, I would have somehow shared the glory, attributed it to glory between God and maybe Pastor and the doctor. Do you, do you understand? So God just wants this one to be like, don't worry, this one is all my glory. Because, huh, you guys, to God be the glory, big things we have done. Do you know? Think about two weeks. After the miss, I started feeling funny. Even with when I got pregnant with the IVF, I didn't really feel that way. I don't think I felt that way. It was just different. I was feeling like as if I have malaria. As if I was sick, I was just feeling tired. I was just re that I always doing dead. Like as if I'm sleepy. I don't even know how to explain how I was feeling. I was not like what's wrong. I, I was I've been complaining like a few days. So of course you should know at that point that I've exhausted one pack of a pity. That's the least thing on my mind. Plus miscarriage just happened and. I was not expecting anything naturally. I was just like, I'm done. Let me just be on my own. That morning, I was not like, okay, let me do. I think that was the last or second to the last pity I had left. Th that's like the extra I had bought. I just had those two at top. And so I told myself that I would just try. I, I was not thinking of positive. That was the least in my mind. But I don't just know what pushed me to go and do 
pregnancy test because normally in my head i should have gone to the hospital to test for my leader but it was very early in the morning i could not wait again i've been feeling somehow like that week weekend so i was like ah, sunday this sunday morning so i thought let me do this pt test i don't know if it was a sunday morning sha. but sha, no. one thing i remember i remember the dates april first april full you guys ah, this god day because me, I used to forget it actually. But you see, all those significant things like the miscarriage happened, I think it was March 18th, the election. I had to test, I did it April 5th. You know, when you don't, you just do something without even thinking. You know, I'm when I did it, self, I just did this. Pay. Okay, they say we should wait how many minutes, how many seconds. I just put it there, went to do that. Sister. Let me come back and see my negative result as usual. I went back, I saw two lines. I read my eyes. I think mean, my ass is draining me. I mean, I was going out for the tissue. I was shocked. I was so shocked. I was like, I mean, I'm, I'm not. I think I now use the second one again. I saw it like ah, on April Fool Day. I didn't want to tell my husband at first that let's get, let me go to the hospital and come confirm. But when I was entering the room, because it was very early in the morning, like maybe five or six, that's like how much I was feeling somehow that I couldn't sleep when I had woken up, woken up early. The minute I stepped to the room, I just start stood at the entrance, still holding in shock and this thing. My husband opened his eyes. I didn't even wake him up. He just opened his eyes. I was like, what's wrong? What happened? See, he did. I just did this now. He stood up. He looked at me. See, he said, are you sure? He said, I'm sure. I was like, I, and I said, babe, today is a preferred. It's God fooling us. <laughs> I will never forget. That's what I said. That I God is fooling us. Eh? Like you, as in, you know, April Fool now. I checked when I use. I think when I use that last one. I don't remember when I checked the red. Oh. It's true. Today is April Fool. April first. Maybe I say na be na April Fool. Oh, let's go and find out. The first game. April Fool is like I don't know. People play that random game of fooling people, like lie and maybe say some things and then they lie. You now say I April Fool, like Fool's Day. I don't even know how to put it. That's what I said. I was like, is God fooling us? I be God is fooling us. You know what I said? I be God the why me. I said, ah. but you know, <laughs> we were excited though. But at the same time, I say, see. Let's go to the hospital and go and confirm blood tests. Brethren, we went to three different hospitals. Yes, so it's everywhere positive, positive, positive. Fat, you know the most shocking part? <laughs> I don't know. By the time we shall, like, when they, they, they were telling us as if I've been pregnant. I don't know how to explain it. The number of weeks they are calculating. If I calculate it, then. You is before the miscarriage or. And it's so confusing. That's what I can. I, till now I cannot explain miracle. Hey. I can't explain it till now. It was just very confusing. Such that all the doctors, at least two doctors, were saying, "Wow, wow, wonderful!" Like, and this is. I can't remember the word they use. The doctors were amazed. Even me, basically, I'm the, I'm a miracle. No, I'm a miracle. Miracle is our Till now I cannot explain the pregnancy. I can't. Of course, after the miscarriage, we're living our life. No man, no man. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, I said, yeah, but I have to go first. After that miscarriage, and I said to God that, see, I'm done. We're just living our life. If you even know that miscarriage happens, you'll be like, this couple, are they serious like this? <laughs> this one that just went to miscarriage, and they're that playing to earlier like this. So God will play. And then I was like, ah, I'm going to be watching. The pregnancy progressed. Because my tongue was getting big. Oh my baby, it's getting big. <laughs> You know, like the doctors were so amazed that doctors were trying to give an explanation, you know, medically thinking. They say, Am I sure the miscarriage happened? You're asking me, Am I sure? Am I sure? <laughs> me, there is some blood myself. That's not even the case. I see, as me, it was just blood, and that's all. I would say, I'm not sure. But after that, I did a home test negative. I went to the hospital. They confirmed that there was nothing. We were looking at the screen like this nothing, nothing. Everything had gone. They did pregnancy test negative and all of a sudden after 
like how many weeks one to three weeks after positive and the weeks we were calculating is unexplainable as if the, uh, the amount of week that i'm pregnant is before the miscarriage i don't know if you understand so today i cannot shall i eat i cannot explain like you go explain you go explain like i can't fathom i've stopped trying to really understand i've just been thanking god thank god for you that's the most of i don't even know how many minutes this video will be or how i suppose i've almost spoken for yeah that's the Activity story again, like I said, I'm sharing because first aspect I had that covenant with God. I don't care if it's just one person that anybody that cares to listen, I'm sharing. I experienced miracles, and secondly, people's testimony has also like helped me my faith, my journey. So, if I'm going through anything, just be encouraged. See, if you just think of me, I could just remember, remember me, be reminded, remember me, be grateful. how to explain how i mean like you know when god makes you gives you a miracle it's not something that you are told something that happened to you something that you experience you can never forget and all of this process gets makes you appreciate life the more and gets you busy and also move you closer to god that's basically the journey to where we are now I just, all i just have to say is whatever whatever it is that you are looking into god for whatever it is you are hoping for praying for believing for you get it the time is when we do know but that is not happen forget it should happen thank you for watching i hope my them story and testimony blesses anybody out there again if you are hoping for believing god for things think it's the of the world god will do it for you sooner than you expect sooner than you, like very soon it's going to happen whatever it is that i are believing god for in jesus name thank you for watching i will see you guys in next week So it happens that I have I had endometriosis, right? I'm an endo survivor, basically. <laughs>